Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about when we decided to go full-time RVing and kind of why we did. And it was her idea. You're a welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tell you the story though we have to tell you a little bit of the backstory so i was a army combat medic for 20 years i retired two years ago and so i knew we were going to have our retirement money that was going to be a predictable income um but what we didn't know is about any additional compensations because um i was wounded in combat back in 2005 and um we didn't know whether we we're going to be getting any more compensation for that. So after I retired, um, while we were waiting for those decisions to be made uh, by the VA and things, I had to get another job because their military retirement is just not going to be enough. So I went and got another job, which I hated, um, but it was just a job just to get some more money so we could pay our bills. And I was looking for a better job in the process. Found a better paying job, transitioned to that job, a little over a year and a half ago and um, great paying job and I'd say probably about 75% of the time it's a great job job overall but those 25% times are the times that are that are really rough um, for any of you who have done any time in, in combat um, you know we struggle with some things and when we get in situations that are uncomfortable for us we want to leave the situation or the area immediately and when you run into those issues at work you can't just leave and so we were sitting watching TV one night this was a couple of months after I had started the new job and we had already received our findings from the VA which was favorable um, so now we had two uh, predictable income sources which was enough to be comfortable with and, and that's going to be part of the the money that's going to fund our full-time RV lifestyle and a commercial came on and it was a uh, gorving.com yeah go RVing so. Tom Selleck <laughs> I remember Tom Selleck being the voiceover and he said something about RVing I don't even remember exactly what it was and Leslie said something to the effect of what did you say you said we should do that sometime rent an RV go somewhere yeah and I said we should just sell all our stuff get an RV and travel and just go wherever we want to go when we want to go yeah which really took me by surprise because you did you did one of those I, those books <laughs> compared to me and my lifestyle as a kid she was well off so camping for her was not camping I mean she needed like running water and bathroom and oh yeah indoor plumbing is a lot yeah <laughs> so it really took me by surprise and I was like are you serious like don't, don't mess messing with, with me. my emotions <laughs> man because I'll do it I mean I'll do it right now I was and I was just frustrated um, with not really with work I wouldn't say I was frustrated with work it's not it's not where I work it's not the job that I do it's just work in general, I mean, not that I don't like work, I want to work, um, but when I need to get away from those situations, I just need to get away, and I can't do that, you know, and so I need to be in a situation that I can do that, and so when she said that, I was like, that would be so great, you know, that would be so awesome. From the moment she said that, we have not wavered, we have not changed our mind. No second guessing. This is what we want to do, we want to go on the road full time. We started researching and looking right away. We did. Uh, we were online watching YouTubers, looking at different models, going to shows. I mean, you've seen some of the the shopping that we've done. Um, and just last weekend, we finally bought the fifth wheel. We bought the truck a few months ago. So now it's all starting to feel real. Yeah, but I just thought that was a really cool story to tell. Um, it's crazy how, you know, they say that just little moments are the things that can change your entire life or set you on a whole different path so you go through your day-to-day -day work and your your life and nothing changes everything stays the same for us it was like that for 20 years being in the army for 20 years nothing really changed we moved around a lot but my job didn't change I was still very predictable 
yeah and, and very structured and I struggled a little bit toward the end of my career with the same type of issues I'm I've struggled with with this job and, and having to get away but less because I was around military folks I was around people that I knew that I could trust and you know similar issues. If you, yeah people who had similar type stuff going on and we functioned together well because we had been through the same type of stuff and now I work with people who don't really understand it so when I have to walk away from a situation or I have to leave they don't understand it um, when I have more medical appointments than I'm than most people do I, they don't understand it um, so the RV life is gonna be perfect I think mm -hmm. Because when we get into a situation that we don't like, we get into a place that I'm not comfortable with, we can just leave and go somewhere else. Yep. Um, so, and you'll probably see that sometimes in our travels. Um, you'll probably see us at a an event or a location where we're sightseeing or whatever, and you know the footage just stops because we left. Because <laughs> if I get a Someone vibe, that makes you uncomfortable. We're out. You know, I've left restaurants. I've left um, stores, stores and places. I just uh, some of you can probably can relate if you if you served and not just military, but first responders. Anybody who's been through you know stuff that um, that reminds them of anything, any any kind of trigger, you got to get away from it. Um, it's hard to explain, but anyway, I'm super excited about the RV lifestyle. I think it's going to be awesome, and that's kind of what why we did it and man I, I don't know how what it would look like today if that conversation would have never taken place yeah it's weird I'd probably still be at the job I hated yeah I'd probably be just trucking through just kind of autopilot just you know disgruntled <laughs> angry because you know you're taught that that's what you do you go to work you work till you're 70 <laughs> And then you don't work and then you die a couple years later and you know and between the time that we decided to do this and even today we've had friends close friends mm -hmm. who have passed away um, several of them way too young to be dead um, and that's just a, a reminder every time something like that happens it's a reminder that you know what's gonna happen tomorrow um, gotta do what we want to do now yeah because even though I'm only 40 years old you're only I'm not gonna say your age but <laughs> even though we're all we're early 40s um, it could be gone tomorrow so the day that we can leave we are going to leave and we're gonna we're gonna make it happen and we hope that uh, you guys come along and hang out with us it's gonna be fun all right y'all um, thanks for watching appreciate it that's a wrap bye, bye. show my zoo shirt Zoo. <laughs>